Welcome to the instructional video on how to take uh, take a client's weight. In this uh, demonstration video, we're actually going to be using a set of bar scales. In most fitness centres and health clubs, you'll find these days there'll be electronic scales, but it's also pretty good to make sure that you know how to use a pair of bar scales. Generally, bar scales are much more accurate than your electronic scales that you use. What we're going to do today with the bar scales is I'm going to get Simon simply to hop on the scales. We're going to make sure that Simon has his shoes off because we want to minimise the amount of excessive weight that Simon is actually going to be carrying. Once Simon's hopped on the actual scales, we'll make sure that both of his weight, the weight is evenly distributed um, through both feet. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to ask um, Simon what, he's, what he thinks his weight is or estimate what his weight is. So Simon, what, what's your weight roughly? 68 kilograms. 68 kilograms? Okay, so what I'm going to do for these bar scales, I'm going to take this bottom bar across here to the 60 kilogram spot and then what I'm going to do is take an estimation or take it across to roughly the 8 kilogram marker on here. Now we use this slight gap in here for the accurate uh, weight measure. Once I've put on there what the estimated weight is, I simply turn and unlock the actual bar scale. So if I turn that, you'll notice that the actual bar is bobbing up. We've got to counterbalance these, so what we simply do is hold those two together and just move it probably half a kilogram down, just like so. It's still bobbing up, so we'll move it another half a kilogram down to 67. See it again, and then once it is level and it is not moving, that is your client's weight. If it does drop down, obviously you need to counterbalance that, bot that top weight back the other way so it actually balances itself out. Once you've actually got the weight, lock the bar out, record your result, and then return the scales back to zero.